Good afternoon, everyone. We are here to present our final requirement for mathematics in the modern world, which is the application of modular arithmetic. I am Stephanie Kate Dizon, and my partner is Kristen Claire Fantasilia. Green Apple Medical Center is a private hospital with a state-of-the-art radiologic department. The department is composed of five modalities, namely an X-ray imaging system, CT scan machine, MRI machine, ultrasound, and a mobile X-ray. After hiring radiographers, the hospital management split them into four sets, with each set comprised of 10 radiographers. Each radiographer is also assigned to a specific position or modality. Seven out of ten radiographers work in the morning shift, with the role of number one as chief radiologic technologist, number two as x-ray technologist, number three as CT scan technologist, number four as MRI technologist, number five as ultrasound technologist, number six as mobile x-ray technologist, number seven as an all-rounder radiologic technologist while the remaining three radiographers work on the night shift, with positions such as number two, x-ray technologist, number six, mobile x-ray technologist, and number seven, the all-rounder radiologic technologist. The problem is radiologic technologists are complaining about the discrepancies in payments for the overtime shifts and deductions for the undertime shift. This situation became rampant since the start of the pandemic. Absences and substitutions also became hard to track due to the increased number of patients. In regards to the solution, the chief radiologic technologist requested a special ID scanner that can monitor the amount of time these technologists are present in the workplace. As the scanners were already used in huge factories and are deemed efficient, the executives heeded the request. Each technologist was given a sticker of a barcode that they are to paste on their employment identification cards. These IDs are required to be scanned when going in and out of the hospital. Hence, the amount of time a radiologic technologist is working, including their overtime and undertime shifts, will be recorded in the system. This makes the payment incentives and deductions much easier to disseminate among these healthcare workers. This is a table that contains the barcode for each set of 10 radiographers. The sets represent what day of the week they are scheduled for duty. Set 1 for Monday and Thursday, set 2 for Tuesday and Friday, set 3 for Wednesday and Saturday. The remaining day, which is Sunday, is allotted for set 4. So here's an example. Each code is comprised of 13 characters. The first three letters represent the initials of the radiologic technologist. Initial of the surname first, then the name, then the middle initial. The following digit that is attached to the three letters is the set number where the technologist is assigned to. If you can remember, the set is based on their schedule through the week. And then there's the remaining nine digits of modulo 10, wherein the first four is the scheduled shift of the technologist. It's 1414 when they are assigned to the morning shift, but when they are assigned to the night shift, it would be 2414. On the other hand, the last digit would represent the modality handled by the technologist. If you can notice, four numbers are not given. These are the four numbers between the scheduled shift numbers and the modality number. These four remaining digits of the modulo 10, even though they are randomly generated, have just as much importance as the other components in the code. Why? Because the whole nine digits of modulo 10 should have a remainder that would match the last digit, which, once again, represents the modality number. Now here's the challenge. Let's see how are we going to answer this. The situation is this. There's a newly hired radiologic technologist in the department. Her name is Jennifer N. Basco. Her schedule is every Tuesday morning and Friday morning, and she specializes in mobile x-ray imaging. Now, she still doesn't have a code. The question is, what are the missing values that would complete the code that will be assigned to her? Let's see. These are the characters, both letters and digits, that are already given based on the profile of the new employee. She's Jennifer N. Basco, right? Starting from the initial of the surname up to the middle initial, we would have BJN. Now, she works every Tuesday and Friday. That would put her to set 2. That's why it's BJN 2. Then she's working the morning shift, right? Thus, she'll be assigned with the numbers 1414. 
Now, we have five remaining digits of modulo 10. If recalled, she specializes in mobile x-ray. And that modality is assigned with the number 6. So, the last digit of this code should be 6. The system auto-generates random numbers that would match the remainder to the modality. But, let's see what actually happens. Now, here's the formula that was used to test the missing numbers. The 10th digit, represented by the D sub 10, is equal to... There, that's the formula, the one shown in the first line. On the second line, we're going to substitute the formula with their respective digits. In here, for the four missing numbers of modulo 10, the system tested 0752. And that will bring us to the third line, wherein we have 10 minus 64 modulo 10. 64 divided by 10 gives us a remainder, which is 4. Now, 10 minus 4 is equal to 6, which matches the modality number of the mobile x-ray, hence completing the code. Therefore, the barcode that will be assigned to the newly hired radiologic technologist is BJN2-1414-07526. That's all. Thank you for listening and have a great day ahead.